I'm forecasting if this Traveler Whiskey, the latest release from the most popular bourbon distillery out there right now, Buffalo Trace, is worth the celebrity hype. And I say celebrity hype because this is a collaboration between Buffalo Trace master distiller Harlan Wheatley and Grammy Award winning country artist Chris Stapleton. Should we tell them that this isn't coming from Tennessee? In all seriousness, this isn't the first time that Stapleton and Buffalo Trace have teamed up together, but that's a conversation for a different time. However, there is a big stigma around celebrity-endorsed whiskey or celebrity-endorsed spirits. It's usually not really good, like this one here. But will this bottle of Traveler Whiskey break that stigma? In this episode, I'm going to give you the forecast on whether or not I think this is a whiskey worth hunting, or if it's another overhyped celebrity whiskey, or another overhyped product from Buffalo Trace. Welcome in, everybody. If you're new to this channel, thank you for stopping by. If you're a frequent flyer, you may have noticed a little bit of a change to this channel. This is now the Whiskey Weather YouTube channel. I am Brandon. I am a whiskey-loving meteorologist, and I'm forecasting the latest trends and fronts in the whiskey world, and I know it sounds cliche, but if you're a whiskey drinker or you like this video, please smash that like button. It really does help more than you know. But without further ado, let's get right into the whiskey. So let's start with the basics. The name, Traveler Whiskey. So Traveler comes from the first album that Stapleton put out back in 2015. It won a Grammy. It was called Traveler, hence Traveler Whiskey. Second thing you'll notice, whiskey and not bourbon. That means it must not fit all the requirements that you would need it to in order to call it a bourbon. And we discussed that right here. Now, after doing some research, it's said to be a combination of Sazerac whiskey. Sazerac is the parent company of Buffalo Trace. That means it could be any array of what they own. We're talking Sazerac Rye, 1792, E.H. Taylor, Buffalo Trace, Blanton's, Last Drop Distillers, Pappy Van Winkle. That's not too likely. Caribou Crossing. Any one of those whiskeys could be within this bottle. Being that it is a blended whiskey, there could be a lot of things in this. So there has been rumor out there that this has some vodka in it. And let's squash that right now because Buffalo Trace themselves say that there is 0% neutral grain spirits within this whiskey. So we can get rid of that. So the MSRP on this comes in at $39.99, which is right where I found it at here in Northern Kentucky. But I'll tell you what, the hype on this is already real high. I went to five different stores before finding this, and they all said that they got multiple cases that sold out in a matter of hours. So luckily I was able to find this at that sixth store. It was on the bottom shelf, right at $39.99. Rumor is that you're going to be able to find this at the Buffalo Trace Distillery at some point this year. I don't know if they've already put it out on the shelves, but there's a good chance that if you visit that within the next couple of months, you might be able to find it. Uh, have you been able to find it anywhere? And if you are able to find it, where are you at and what's the price? I know California has had it for a little bit cheaper. Some parts of Texas I've heard have gotten it. Where are you at and have you seen it? Would love to hear that, so throw that into the comments below. As far as the whiskey itself, comes in at 90 proof, so that's 45% ABV, and that's the same proof as the namesake Buffalo Trace. As far as the bottle itself, it's a pretty simple bottle. One label right across the front says Traveler Whiskey, 90 proof, and on the bottom left it says Blended Whiskey, blend number 40. And that's because they did a roughly about 50 different blends on this before choosing number 40. On the back, there's another label, and it reads... Good whiskey is like a good song. It requires no explanation. One taste should tell you everything you need to know. No one has to tell you how to feel about it. You simply settle in and enjoy. For the first of its kind collaboration from Buffalo Trace Distillery, Traveler brings together the collective artistry of Chris Stapleton and master distiller Harlan Wheatley. Blend 40 is the carefully curated result of countless hours of tasting and testing. It's a completely unique combination of whiskeys from award-winning distilleries and exactly what you'd expect, a premium whiskey that speaks for itself. Again, they're saying that this should be for the everyday whiskey drinker, someone who likes it in cocktails, but also for someone who may be blown away by some higher proof whiskey, that this isn't gonna put the heat on the backside of it as that. Again, you can find all that information on travelerwhiskey.com, which takes you right to Buffalo Trace's website. So that is what this bottle looks like. But what does it taste like? That's why you're here, so let's break it down. Let's see if we can give this puppy a nice pop. Eh, not too bad. Eh, pour it out. So I think that this is gonna have some lighter qualities to it, at least uh, on, on the proof point, obviously 90 proof. Oh, wow, yeah. 
There's some caramel and vanilla right up front. It's not an overpowering nose. It's like a vanilla cupcake, which I tend to get from some of those light whiskeys. And when you hear light whiskey, you may think uh, that it's lower in proof, but that's not always the case. A light whiskey is actually distilled to a higher proof than bourbon. They go past 160 proof. But vanilla cupcake it does have a lighter whiskey nose to me. Caramel, vanilla, which is what they actually say the tasting notes are. So that comes up right on the nose. There's, a, there's no real cinnamon or leather hit to it that you normally would get from a Buffalo Trace product. And I don't get the grape that I usually get from Buffalo Trace either. So as far as the palate, let's see what we got here. Okay, so first off, very simple. It's not hot, so you're not getting that tingle up front. It's got more of, I'd say, an apple juice consistency to it, where there's a little bit of a tingle, but there's not a whole lot of burn there. The finish itself, pretty quick in my mind. That was the first sip. Let's see what we got from there. Okay, to me, it's pretty grainy. There's an apple-ish taste to it as well. Maybe that's why I compared it to apple juice. Again, not overpowering. There's some caramel there too. A little bit of vanilla. You don't get a ton of oak. There's some oak peeking through. I don't even really get a whole lot of rye spice out of this, so I'm trending away from the rye. My guess is this is Canadian whiskey in here, along with a little bit of that 1792. That's what the rumor is, is that there's some Barton in here, uh, and Barton is the owner of 1792. The nose itself, again, vanilla, caramel, maybe a little apple. There's not a whole lot of that dark fruit that you normally get also from that Buffalo Trace, and I don't get the grapes either. Not bad. Uh, $40, that's about the most I'd probably pay for this. But when it comes to this whiskey, I'd say the one thing that I'm a little more disappointed in as a whiskey drinker is the finish just really isn't there. It's got a good flavor up front, but it does finish a little flat for me. Not terrible, but a little flat. It's got that vanilla cupcake-y flavor to it, as I mentioned, but still not a whole lot there. But what I do want to do is compare it to the namesake Buffalo Trace. So I want to give a shout out to my buddy Bob, who's letting me steal a pour from his because I just finished the last Buffalo Trace that I had. So Buffalo Trace, of course, we just talked about it. 90 proof. They're coming in at the same proof. This finish, not as great. Let's see how they compare that Traveler Whiskey. It's a light nose. Again, caramel and vanilla. Oh, Buffalo Trace. You can definitely tell the difference right, right away. This one is so much more potent. It's got a little bit of that grapiness that I tell you about from Buffalo Trace. But even more of like a... I get mint out of this now when comparing them back and forth which is not a, a note that I've gotten in the past from that. There's like a minty grape. Uh, they don't really match, but a minty grape. There's some caramel and vanilla here, but this is more like that vanilla cupcake. This is more that bourbon. You even get the oak and kind of the earthiness out of it. As far as on the palate, again, Traveler whiskey, it's grainy to me. I usually get a lot of that out of the Canadian whiskey that I've tried. A lot of the grains come through, not necessarily overpowering in flavor. It's caramel, vanilla, apple, that's about it. As far as Buffalo Trace, again on the nose, that mint and that wood really come through. Okay, there's a lot more of a tingle. There's a little bit more of that rye spice coming through on the Buffalo Trace. Of course, this is a bourbon. This is a blended whiskey. But if I had to compare the two, I'd probably lean more towards the Buffalo Trace because it's got more of a well-rounded palate. It's got that tingle, even at 90 proof, I don't think it's blowing you away. This itself, to me, just kind of falls flat on the palate. It's good, but then the finish itself just kind of tapers away. I wonder what this would taste like in a cocktail. I bet you it's probably a lot better in a cocktail. But if I had to compare the two of them, Buffalo Trace, at 90 proof, Traveler Whiskey at 90 proof. This one's coming in at an MSRP of $40. This one should be about 26. It's a little harder to find, but if I had to choose between the two of them, I'm gonna take the Buffalo Trace Bourbon all day, every day over the Traveler Whiskey. So once again, 
we're getting another celebrity endorsed whiskey that isn't really good. Now, I'm not saying don't buy this. I think it's perfectly priced, maybe a little expensive. If you can find this at $35, grab it. But this isn't something that I think you should be running out to try to grab. It's an okay whiskey for the price. It's really just getting that Buffalo Trace name out there. I don't think it's that great. It's a mix-up. Of course, it's not a bourbon. It's a whiskey. So it's going to have a different flavor profile. But if you're a bourbon drinker, if you're a whiskey drinker that likes a little bit more of those flavors coming through, Buffalo Trace is probably the route you want to go. I hope that you enjoyed this video and got a lot out of it. And if you are a whiskey lover like myself, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash the like button below. If you want to join the Whiskey Stormfront as I continue to forecast the latest trends and releases here in the whiskey world. See you in the next video. Thank you.